What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Today, Bungie released another brand new update teaser. This one called Age of Triumph Sandbox Update. And uh, there is a ton of really cool stuff in here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to play the whole trailer so you guys can watch it for yourselves. And then after the trailer, I'm going to come back. We're going to slow it way down so we can really see what's in this thing. And we'll watch it together that way. It, there is a ton of really cool stuff in here. So here is the trailer. Today and tomorrow and every day, you fight for us. You have shown me what it is to hope. We thank you, Guardian. And we will never forget. All right. As usual, Bungie totally bringing the hype here. Not to be disappointed by a by a teaser trailer for the Age of Triumph sandbox update. Uh, what we don't get in this trailer is any details of what's going to be affected by the sandbox update. But what we do get is some sneak peeks at some of the raid gear, some of the really cool armor that's going to be unveiled. Obviously, what we're looking at here is a new set of raid armor for the hunter. We've seen this before. Uh, this time we get kind of a 3D view of it. And if you really notice that leg and the arm, uh, also there's kind of this like a uh, chest piece that goes down toward the navel. Uh, it really is inspired by the Minotaurs in the Vault of Glass and looks really fantastic in my opinion. So we got a lot of sneak peeks at what some of this new armor is going to be. Obviously, that can be kind of a spoiler. Some people like to be surprised by this stuff when they actually earn it, when they see it on their raid team, when they see raid teams who've com you know completed these things come into the tower and they're like, oh, damn, what's that? So... Showing this stuff off can be a bit of a spoiler for kind of a preview, I don't know what you call this, a teaser, a teaser trailer, right? All right, first off, here we see the brand new Crota gear, and I'm sure this is with full ornaments on it, and it definitely harkens back to the old Crota gear. It definitely looks like it, but what you're going to notice is a lot more glowy bits, a lot more embellishment. Uh, the models look the same, but the ornaments seem to add to it with this kind of hologram look to it. I've never been a huge fan of the Crota raid gear. It was never my favorite set, but this set looks really good. It, it's got a new look to it. It doesn't look so cheesy. Next, we see some Oryx gear. Uh, you can see that the raid weapons are returning. They look pretty much the same, and uh, so does that piece of Warlock armor. So I, I tend to think that wasn't ornamented. We'll have to wait and see. Next, we get a really cool screenshot here, or a really cool video clip, and I'm going to slow this one down a little bit more. What I think we're seeing here is three different sets of raid gear. A Titan on the left with full Crota gear. In the middle, a Hunter with full... Uh, Vault of Glass gear, and on the right, the Warlock with Wrath of the Machine gear. And it really sets up the difference between the three raid sets with the different color schemes. The Crota is all green, Vault of Glass is all blue, uh, Wrath of the Machine is all red, and then there's another Hunter kind of dropping down from the top, and you don't get to see much of them, but it is interesting. It's a very dark picture, so there's not a lot of detail in it, uh, but... <laughs> Man, this stuff looks cool. I mean, it, it definitely is some of the best looking armor I've seen in the game so far. It's definitely distinctive as well. All right, moving on, we're going to be taking a look at some returning weapons, but there's also some really cool looks at armor here. So let me know down in the comments if you think I get the armor right. I think this is going to be Oryx armor. It's really hard to tell. It looks like a Titan in new Oryx armor with ornamentation. It looks awesome, and I believe that's the Black Hammer, which will be returning as well. It's a very short clip. There's not a lot of detail there. This one is huge. I think that's a Fatebringer. I honestly do. It looks like a Fatebringer to me. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think that's a Fatebringer. Obviously, it's got a new look to it. Could there be ornaments coming to raid weapons? And then I think this is a Warlock with the new Vault of Glass armor as well with full ornamentation. Uh, so, I mean, that looks amazing. I gotta say, it looks absolutely stunning. Here's the Vex Mythoclast, which we already knew was coming back with ornamentation. It looks very good as well. Instead of that brassy, copperish gleam that 
uh, really kind of fit in with the Vex. This really fits in with the Vault of Glass and those more silvery uh, Minotaurs and, and other types of Vex that you see uh, later on in the game. It looks really nice. It's a totally fresh look for the Vex Mythic class, and I'm really looking forward to the grabbing this thing and using it at 400 light level. Uh, so that pretty much wraps it up. You do get another look at the Fate Bringer at the end here, being used in multiplayer, which really calls into question, did we see an ornament on a Fate Bringer earlier? Well, you know, what is going on here? Because that thing really looked like a Fate Bringer, man. It really did. So you're seeing just a little um, crucible action. Obviously, we're going to get the Dragon's Breath with a tiger skin. That looks really cool. And... With any sandbox update, obviously there is going to be some changes to multiplayer, and that will really excite or piss off different members of the community. We'll have to wait and see what they make changes to. A lot of people really like the current meta. Uh, a lot of people are really pissed off that the Wormwood in particular seems so strong, and the sidearms are just so much better than every other special weapon type because of the ammo situation. So are they going to change the ammo situation for the... For the Sidearms, or are they going to give more ammo to other types of weapon? We'll have to wait and see. It's going to be an exciting Twitch reveal. I think this is the one that people are most excited about. Look at all those Guardians walking down there in all that new cool armor. That one's going to be the screenshot for the thumbnail. <laughs> I just decided. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.